When I came to US, I came with a small suitcase with a few pairs of pants and, uh, you know, shirts. And uh, after a few years, now you have to look at my closet. <laughs> I have, uh, you know, ten pairs, I don't know how many pairs of pants, you know, for the winter, for the summer, for the spring, for the fall. And uh, every day I have to make a choice, right? Uh, like, which pan is good for me today? It's a Monday, Chief's Day, or a Royal's Day. Do you make, I know, you don't have to make that choices, right? No? <laughs> my mother, I, you know, on Sunday morning, my mother, she has like a hundreds of saris, you know? She's like a, a just before getting ready for the mass, she, com she comes like a one sari or two saris in her hands, and uh, to one to the dad and one to us. Which sari is good with my blouse? <laughs> What do you think? Four boys, you know, we are four boys, take a decision <laughs> for a mother, you know. How many choices we make in a day, right? According to Google, average adult make 2,000 choices in an hour. Average adult make 2,000 choices or decisions. 35,000, 35,000 choices in a day. An, an active adult, that is what Google say. Depends on what kind of work you do, right? Every choice, when you make a choice, you are sacrificing something else, right? You choose to be here, that is a choice you made. You choose to be here, then you sacrificed something else, right? The same time, you could have been in a, somewhere, in a restaurant or somebody with, you know, with a family or something you could have done, right? You sacrificed that, you made a choice to be here. Why? Because you found it is very important to be here. You found it very important. You found something more important this time of Saturday evening to be here 4 p.m. That's a choice. You made it. So it depends on how much we are in love. That is why people say, sometimes people say, I don't have time. You don't, need to, you don't need time to do what you love, right? Do you need time to do what you love? No, you will do it. You don't need time to do what you love. You don't have time to do things what you don't love, <laughs> right? Right, you know, if you, that is the best way to excuse. I know how to make that excuse very well, <laughs> right? If you don't like something, you always have the excuse. I don't have time, right? Right, yes. So you always have time to do what you love. So you love to be here. That is a choice. That is why you made this choice and you are here. That is why last three weekends, Jesus is talking about the kingdom of heaven. What does kingdom of heaven look like? You know, the third, you know, chapter 13, starting with what kind of soil you are. Kingdom of God, heaven is like a sower sowing the seed. And last Sunday, what kind of seed you are? You know, and this Sunday, he comes with the three parables about treasure. When a normal guy, he works in a field, and a normal day, right, very normal day, he started working, digging in the ground. Then all of a sudden, he found this beautiful treasure. He knows this, the value of it. He found it. Then he hid in it. He went home. He thought, I have, I have an amazing treasure here, hidden. So he sold everything and came back and purchased the land to possess the treasure. So, for us, it's a normal day. Every day is a normal day, right? So normal day, business as usual. Jesus is asking us, are you aware of what is going on around your life? Are you aware of that God is in action every day? Are you aware that God is in action? He's present, he's in action. Sometimes we are so carried away with in the past something we forgotten, something, we, uh, something we happened in our life in the past, not able to forgive, and trapped in the past. People sometimes in the depression, sometimes in a, in a remorse, sometimes in a grieved, in grief, something what happened in the past. Sometimes because of the anxiety, what is going to happen 
tomorrow, what is happen, going to happen next week or next month in anxiety. We, we lose the reality of present. So what happens is like we, either we are carried away with the past or uh, carried away with the, f the future, we lose the sight of what is happening around us. So be sensitive, which means like uh, Jesus is challenging us uh, restore the innocence. Like a child, like the child, children. Like, uh, you know, when you see, when children see a flower or a something, they are very excited. Just imagine after mass children, I love when children run to the altar to pick up this bulletin. Or at the, after the mass, they come here to play this thing. How many of you want to do that, right? <laughs> do you want to do it? <laughs> we don't do it, right? We, sometimes we think it's a silly thing, right? We do that because we are adult, right? We know we are we we know a lot of things, right? But children, their innocence, they love it. They love. They have the they have the innocence. So Jesus is challenging us to restore the innocence. That is why in Gospel of Matthew chapter 18, Jesus is challenging us, advising us. Be like child, change like children to enter to the kingdom of heaven. I have to be childlike, in a sense, to experience our awesome Lord. So that is one amazing, I, I love it, because like, that's why it's okay to smile, it is okay to be, be yourself, be the one God meant you to be, then you will set the world on fire. St. Catherine of Siena. Right? Be the one God meant you to be. There is nobody like you. Be the one. That restoring the innocence, restoring who you are. Then you respond how the beautiful God, our God is in action around us. How do I respond to the God in action? Sometimes we don't like the way God is in acting. Sometimes we don't like, we want a different response from God. Sometimes we like to change the God's plan, right? That's why we pray, right? Lord, I don't like what you did today, okay? Please, I don't like it, so I'm praying. 25 rosaries, you know, <laughs> right? Yes, we, you know, God is always in action, so he wants us to respond when he's in action. That is number one. Number two, remember last weekend, I love to sing my song, Our Father. Did you like it? I don't know. That's beautiful, right? I love it. That's my bathroom song, you know? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's our Father, the Lord's Prayer. I love it because I, I don't have confidence in singing out loud. But since last weekend, I have lots of confidence, you know? <laughs> I'm going to sing again, okay? Kingdom of Heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Holy, holy, thou art holy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Holy, holy, thou art holy. Love it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> so, thy will be done. Whenever the will of God is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is experienced. That is number two. Will of God. See how much everything happened in our life is because of the will of God. It was the will of God we are born, right? It is the will of God we are alive today. It is the will of God after all this COVID thing and all these things happened in the world, we are alive. It is the will of God we are born and born to a parent in the United States, for me in India. You didn't choose your children. You didn't choose your parents. You didn't choose your siblings. It is the will of God to place you in a right place. Everything is will of God. So when we understand the will of God, there is a cost I have to pay. It is not free. 
It is not free. There is nothing free in the world. There is a cost I have to pay. The cost of discipleship. It is very expensive to be a disciple of Christ. It is not cheap. Because like a, when I am a disciple of Christ, I have to do something. A lot of choices I have to make. That is why there is a beautiful book, uh, The Cost of Discipleship. If you look at uh, uh, Dietrich Boffmer, and that is available uh, uh, in, a, in, the, in the Amazon or wherever, Cost of Discipleship. There is a cheap uh, discipleship and a costly discipleship. It's love to read about it. So, so, so why we do what we do? Because we know everything I am, everything I have, it is because of Jesus' amazing grace. He gave us free. That is why you make a decision today. You made a decision today to be here this 4 p.m. Because everything I have, my family, my children, my faith, my health, my love, I can do whatever I want, I can. Everything is a gift of God. Therefore, I choose to be here on this weekend to be for the Lord. The, I, am, I am very happy to choose to be here to offer my prayer to you, Lord, because you have done a lot of things for me. And that's the same thing. Why do you tithe? 10% of your income, why do you do that? Why do you do that? You can do something else. You choose to do it because you know everything you have, your health, your energy, your love, your family, everything you are, you are, you have, is because of the generous gift of God. You know it. Therefore, you are with the great love you give. Why do you participate in all these 40 ministries? Why do you do that? You can do something else. You choose to work. You choose to offer your time, talent, and treasure for what? You know the value. Because everything you have, everything is because of the will of God. You know that. Therefore, you are willing to offer your time, participate in the ministries, being in the choir, being in the garage sale, being working behind the scenes, in the, being a sacristan, work helping the children in the school. Tens of things. You do that because you know the value. You make the choices. You make that amazing choice because everything you are, everything you have is a gift of God. Right? Holy, holy, thou art holy, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, holy, holy, thou art holy.